Hello everyone, I am Jessa Pimantuhak. Today we will going to have a story about Bob's White Christmas. Dizzy twirled and clapped her front tires together. It's Christmas Eve, she cried. We're going to have loads of fun. That's right, Dizzy, said Bob, as he carried a large box from his workshop. It's time to decorate the yard for the holidays. Here comes the Christmas tree, called Wendy. As Coop lowered the tree into the middle of the yard. Hooray! cheered the machines. What a wonderful tree! exclaimed Bob, pulling a string of Christmas lights from the box. Can we trim it? said Bob. Yes, we can! yelled the machines. As they worked, Dizzy noticed a snowflake, then another one, and then another one. Look! she exclaimed. We're going to have a white Christmas. I have an idea. Let's build a snowman with all of this new snow, suggested Bob. Everyone pitched in, Scoop gathered snow, lofty lowers a traffic cone into the snowman's head, and Bob gave it a bold nose. A snowman fit for a builder's, Bob said proudly. And then Wendy hurried into the yard. Farmer Speakles needs your help, Bob. She said, he snowed in and needs you to dig it out. Come on, Scoop, said Bob. This is a job for you to your snow plow. Bob snapped the plow into the place and climbed a broad scoop. Can we plow it, said Bob. Yes, we can yelled Scoop. After they left, Wendy found Bob's cell phone under the tree. Oh dear, she cried. Bob's forgotten his cell phone, does he? Will you take it to him? No problem, answered Desi. So Wendy sucked the cell phone safely inside the Dizzy's mixer. As Dizzy rolled along, the snow gathered on the top of her. The burr, she said, shivering. It's really, it's really cold out here. It's better take a shortcut. She zoomed through the open gate. Meanwhile, across a field, spuds light down a snowy hill. We hoo hoo! Look out! He yelled. Here comes Spud, the super slippery scarecrow. Boogity boom, Tad. Spud crashed into a shivering pile of snow. Help! cried Spud, running for the farmhouse. It's a snow monster. Bob and Scoop had just finished pulling farmer's pickles. Drive away when Spud came running over. What's the matter, Spud? asked Farmer Pickles. I just saw a snow monster, cried Spud. It's huge and scary. Hmm, said Bob. We'd better go back and look.
when they got to the field, Spud pointed to the snow monster. That's not a snow monster, said Bob. That's just Dizzy covered in snow. What happened, Dizzy? You f f forgot your cell phone, said Dizzy. Trevoring, I tried to bring it to you, but I got st st stuck in the snow. Poor thing, let's get you home, said Bob. Back at home, Bob remembered that he had promised Mrs. Percival he would play Santa Claus and deliver presents to her school children on Christmas Eve. He quickly put on his Santa suit. Hoo hoo hoo, said Bob, admiring himself in the mirror. Outside, Wendy had dressed Mac to look like a sleigh and Dizzy to look like a reindeer. You look great, Mac, said Bob. My goodness, Bob said, turning to Dizzy, a reindeer and a snow monster all in one day. Then off they went up and over the hill to the schoolhouse. Miss Percival school children love Bob's presence. Thank you for the gift, Bob, said Mrs. Percival. It's been our pleasure, said Bob. Then he shook Mark's reins and they headed for home. And very soon after that, Christmas Eve turned into Christmas Day. Santa Claus had come during the night and left presents for everyone. I love ripping the paper, said Mac. Look what I got, yelled Raleigh. This is just what I've always wanted, exclaimed Scoop. Yippee, cried Dizzy. Merry Christmas, everyone. The end. So that's our story about the Bob's White Christmas. Bye!